again, set your oven to 375. portion of the cheesy tuna noodles. You can use any vegetables that you'd like. We chose to use broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Carrots are a good source of beta carotene. Broccoli has calcium, which you may not be getting if you don't drink milk. And then cauliflower has a good source of fiber. So we're just going to put these in the microwave and we're going to go ahead and thaw them. In a warm pot, go ahead and add your butter, your vegetables, <laughs> about 14 ounces of pasta to the boiling water. Whole grain would be preferred for the fiber benefits, but whatever you have will work. Boil the pasta for about seven to eight minutes or al dente. You're gonna wanna drain your pasta. and then add it back to the bowl with the other ingredients. Now you want to add in three slices of cheese and a half cup of milk. And stir all together until it's combined. Milk and cheese are both a good source of calcium. They help you build strong bones and keep your teeth healthy as well. spray your pan. Now we're going to add the cheesy tuna noodles all to the pan. Then we're just going to go ahead and level this out. And if you prefer to make it just a little bit cheesier, you can go ahead and add a couple slices to the top or you can add a breadcrumb and give it a crunch. Now we're going to take our completed product. We're going to go ahead and bake it in the oven. The oven was preset for 375. We just want to place it in there. And then we're going to let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure that it's golden brown on top. And then we're going to pull it out of the oven. <laughs>